How are we doing YouTube? Nick Patapia from Next Gen Rehab and in today's video I'm going to be discussing the medication hydrochlorothiazide and its effects on exercise. Now like any medication video I do, this is not meant to be medical advice. If you do have any medication specific questions, please bring those up with your family physician. Now let's start off by talking about what hydrochlorothiazide does. Its main purpose is to help regulate blood pressure. So this medication is primarily prescribed to hypertensive patients. If you are borderline hypertensive and lifestyle management has not worked, this may also be prescribed to you. Another instance this medication may be prescribed is for patients who are dealing with what's known as edema or swelling in the legs. So if you are at higher risk of developing heart disease or if you've developed heart disease <clears throat> after having um, uh, coronary artery disease or some sort of heart event, this may be a medication that uh, your, your physician prescribes to control one of the risk factors, which is blood pressure. Now, typically, uh, this med uh, medication has a specific mechanism of action, all right? And so it works by acting on the kidneys. It falls under the classification of medications known as diuretics. So what it does is it uh, lets your kidneys know not to uh, reabsorb more fluid and actually causes you to excrete more fluid via urination. So by excreting more fluid via urination, you're actually able to better regulate your fluid volume within your body and this helps to reduce your blood pressure. Now, what are the common side effects of this medication? One of the most common side effects we may typically see in clinic with patients may be dizziness, especially uh, after initiating this medication. Uh, patients may experience uh, increase in fatigue, again, uh, after initiating this medication. Uh, another uh, common side effect may be uh, noticing increased fear, uh, frequency in urination, right? Because this is a diuretic and uh, your body is um, regulating your fluid levels by uh, urinating more. So keep those things in mind. Ideally what we get patients to do when they first uh, start this medication uh, in the clinic uh, is to monitor their blood pressure for the initial three, four, five weeks and keep a log, all right? And if you start to notice that your blood pressure is getting significantly lower uh, or it continues to trend in the downward direction, or if you notice that uh, the low blood pressure is also accompanied by dizziness, uh, uh, increase in fatigue, um, not feeling as good, then bring that up with your family physician because you may need to have this dose of medication adjusted. Uh, you may also want to speak with your physician on the timing you take this medication, again, because it uh, can increase uh, your uh, urine output. You do not want to be taking this too close uh, to bedtime. Uh, again, if you do, you may be waking up more frequently at night to use the bathroom. Now let's talk a little bit about this medication and its impacts on exercise. So there not, are no contraindications for you to be exercising one while you're on hydrochlorothiazide. Again, it's gonna help you regulate your blood pressure a lot better while you are exercising. Uh, ideally, when patients come into the clinic, we do uh, pre-blood pressure as well as a post-blood pressure, so pre-exercise and post-exercise blood pressure. And this allows us to just make sure that the blood pressure is being regulated correctly. Now, uh, again, in the initial weeks, this is a little bit more important. We're looking for things like dizziness in patients, um, <clears throat> increased uh, lightheadedness with exercise if this does come on, um, and it's accompanied with low blood pressure. Then again, we do want this patient to be speaking with their family physician in an attempt to um, adjust the dose so that they're not feeling uh, these symptoms and we can get the blood pressure to a more tolerable range uh, so it doesn't drop too low. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and also let me know uh, any future videos you'd like to see. Once again, my name is Nick Bertap from Next Gen Rehabilitation. We'll see you in the next video.